Hello, this is Erica from BlacksandPrayedFilms.com, and today is day eight of our Write It series. Today is February 8th, 2017, and on January 8th, 1837, Fanny Jackson Coffin was born. Born a slave, Fanny Jackson Coffin would work her way to becoming the first African American woman to become a, prince, a school principal. I had a very hard time fan casting Fanny Coffin because she had such a unique look. But after looking at different lists of actresses, I came across Keely Hawk. While they don't look exactly the same, I have liked every role I've seen Keely Hawk in, and I think she'd be able to convey the intelligence and warmth of Fanny. They have similar eyes in that way to me. While looking at pictures of Keely Hawk, I stumbled across a picture of Angela Robinson Witherspoon. In my opinion, she'd be the perfect Fanny for the later part of her life. They look very similar to me, and Angela has the experience as she's been acting since the 80s. I believe she'd be a great Fanny Coppin. There's so much to work with in Fanny's life. She was born and slaved in Washington, D.C., and gained her freedom at 12 years old when her aunt was able to purchase her for $125. She moved to Newport, Rhode Island to live with another aunt of hers, eventually becoming a domestic to support herself at the age of 14. A film about her aunt's time working to earn money to buy her would be very interesting. The concept of a slave getting their freedom is prevalent in many films and series. But now, in this version, Fanny would have to work to support, him, to support herself after gaining her freedom. Um, this is very historically prevalent because at a young age, many black, free black girls had to work as maids to help their, fam their families out financially. A story from this point of view would be very interesting. Even while she worked, Fanny's eye was always on education, the education of herself and of her people. In her own, own words, she said, it was in me to get an education and to teach my people. This idea was deep in my soul. Where it came from, I cannot tell, for I had never had any exhortations nor any lectures which influenced me to take this course. It must have been born in me. This determination led her to Oberlin College in 1860. This Ohio college was the first college in the United States to accept both black and female students. Many African-American men and women of note went to this college, so a film taking place here would be awesome. As a junior at Oberlin, she became, she became their first black teacher when she was giving a class as practice like all juniors in her major. The staff at the school said they'd give her a chance, but if the students rebelled against having a black teacher, they would not force the issue. However, much to Fanny's surprise, none of the students or parents became upset at her being their teacher. She even became a favorite amongst the students. While teaching at Herbaline, Fanny began to teach newly freed African Americans how to read and write. After graduating with her bachelor's degree in 1865, she accepted a position at Philadelphia's Institute for Colored Youth, teaching Greek, Latin, and mathematics. In 1869, she became principal of the entire school, making her the first African American woman to become a school principal. During her 37 years as principal, she implemented many improvements in the curriculum. Her time as a teacher of white college students and black newly freed slaves is perfect for a story. Watching her work her way through school and going, growing into a professor at Oberlin during the Civil War will be a completely different approach to the African-American character in a Civil War era film. At 44 years old, Fanny married Reverend Levi Jenkins Coffin on December 21st, 1881. Together, they worked towards the advancement of their people as educators and missionaries. Their travels in South Africa as missionaries would be a unique story. While doing the research for this video, I was pleased to come across a biography of Fanny that she had written herself. It was titled, Reminiscence of School Life and Hence on Teaching, and was a great read. If anyone were to do a film or write, a historical fi or write historical fiction about Fanny, this biography would be a great place to start because of all the details she's including. She's included. She describes how she felt and the motives behind her actions. Additionally, she describes her time at Oberlin in detail. If you're going to write about a black character at Oberlin during the 1800s, you could use her account as a guide. Her entire life is discussed in detail. So if you want to write about her or someone like her, I suggest you read her story in her own words.
I would love to see a story like hers on screen, in the form, in screen or in the form of a novel. I think somebody should write it.